Hello, fifth graders. These are the instructions for Workplace 6A, Dragon's Treasure. For this game, each pair of players needs one Dragon's Treasure record sheet to share, one red and one blue game marker, one die numbered one through six, and some scratch paper. So you're gonna determine who moves first. And then I've gone ahead and started a game here and I'm gonna show you what I did for this first turn. So I started for the red team, I rolled the die, and I got a four. Notice it says you start right here. So I started in this position at one, zero. Those would be my coordinates. And since I rolled a four, I can move any combination of four that I wish. I don't have to move four all in one direction. As I go, I'm trying to pass by money amounts and stars. That's how I'm going to get the most money. And that's my goal is to have the most money at the end of the game. So I went past the $18.25 mark and I retyped those since they're so fuzzy on my sheet here. So I got to collect that. I landed on a star. So that means that I get to multiply my final amount by 10. And I also went to the 24. So I got $24. So for my score, this is the way I'm going to think of it. I went past the $18.25. I landed on the $24. I went ahead and added those together and got $42.25. Since I passed a star, I get to multiply that by 10. So my final score for that round was $422.50. Uh, the next thing that I do is I now have to think about where I landed and I have to look at the coordinates for that. So I would start here at my origin, go to the right three, up two. So here I have my coordinates for where I am right now. The blue team would do the exact same thing and each of you is going to play five rounds. At the end of five rounds, you're going to add all of your scores together and the person with the highest total score wins. I think the only thing I forgot to tell you is that you don't move diagonally. So that's how you play Dragon's Treasure. I hope you have fun.